Well, well, what is it exactly that you do? We put up fake profiles online of children. Um, we wait for the people to message us. Once they've messaged us, we tell them our age straight away. Um, we wait for them to take the conversation in whatever direction they want to take it. And then we just see if it goes down to the sexual route. What, what age are you posing as? When you're... Any age from 11 to 15. And uh, it's boys and girls? Boys and girls. Um, I watched a documentary um, a, 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 a while ago, um, and I think it was Dark Justice that came in and had a yeah, chat we'll with us. Them, uh, yeah, closely with them. And what astonished me was how full of fish this dirty pond is. Yeah. Because you throw the hook in, yeah. and it takes moments yeah. for, them, for, the, for, the, for them to be circling around this, yeah. this yeah. child. Yeah. Um, you don't ever... Uh, gets sexual first. No, no, no. We we'll never, we we'll never initiate the the chat. We we'll let them talk about whatever they want to talk about, whether it's football or whether it's anything else. Uh, and at the same time, you're being the innocent child and yeah. talking about being grounded and talking about having yeah. your phone taken away, yeah. being at yeah. school. All what lessons? Yeah. yeah. And so, and in the same way that you don't entice anything, the, the meeting or anything like that, when they ask to meet up, that you never initiate that, do you? No. no. You always wait for that person yeah. to make those steps first. Yeah. Um, and what happens on one of that, those meets? We record everything that we do uh, from the moment that they turn up. As soon as they do turn up, we ring 999. Uh, we go in, we we'll speak to them, we we'll try to get the reasons why they've turned up, why they, they want to speak to a child, um, and wait for the police to arrive. And you film at that? Oh, yeah, yeah. we we'll film it for their safety on for hours, and just it's, it's all part of the evidence that we hand over to, across to the police. We never, ever, ever live stream. Never. Mm. Because that could jeopardise a, a case. It yeah. could put the no, family... No, just put families, families. neighbours, friends... Other paedophiles could get wind of it and destroy, destroy their any stuff of their evidence that, that that have been linked to the paedophile that we've caught. If he is in contact with other paedophiles and it's gone live, then that they know. notifies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. notifies yeah. them. Yeah. Well, um, you, Sally, called in uh, you, you guys to to help. What alerted you, Sally, that there was a problem? It was my daughter. She came straight to us. She got a friend request, then within seconds of having a friend request, there was three messages came straight to him. Um, and it got quite... They got too much, but I decided, uh, like, I was You could tell it was an older person. Yes, straight away. And, and it, I mean, you, well done you for, for calling them, because I think well, many parents wouldn't necessarily know know what to do. Yeah, and for yeah. your daughter having mm -hmm. that relationship with you where she could come and, and talk to you about that. Um, how, did, how did you know what to do? Uh, a year ago, I was in the same situation with my daughter and I actually contacted the police, but it didn't... It took over a year and he actually got off with it. Wow. And that's what made us think, right, I'm going to contact the Guardians of the North. OK. And so when you contacted them then, yeah. what, what did you as, as a parent do? What did your daughter do? Back right off and let them take control? I took over the chart um, and then it started getting too much, like, in the detail and stuff like that. And that's when I actually went over and handed the, the phone over to Key. And, and Kay, it was you. Took you it over yeah. From there. Yeah, it was me that took over the chat. The chat became um, quite explicit. About 17 minutes into the chat. Um, and obviously that's when she came and seen me and we decided, I, I had rang Joe and had said, you know, what, what do we do? Do we hand this over to the police? Do we take it over? You know, and we felt because obviously she had already been let down once yeah. by the police by contacting them that we would just take over the chat. And you, you got him. And this yeah. guy had previous. Yeah. He'd done this before. Yeah. Well, 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 I think we had a name and address for yeah. him within... We worked all through hours, the night doing various checks night. online just to make sure that we were going for the right person. Mm -hmm. uh, we worked closely with Dark Justice on the same night. Uh, We've done all the various... A lot. Yeah. So, well, can I ask you, because, I mean... There are so many stories like this that we hear. It's more prolific than yeah. we yeah. realise, I it's think. 
Is that Does, epidemic at the minute? It is epidemic. Does it ever surprise you where these people come from? What are their backgrounds? What jobs they've got? I mean... No. Uh, you... We recently caught a mayor. A, a mayor yeah. from Peter Lee, um, which surprised us all. Um, we never thought we'd catch anybody in a high rank and or in a situation that he is, where he goes around opening schools and so various all, functions. All walks of life. All, all walks, walks of, life. of life. I've caught managers, um, all kinds. Of big companies. As... You, um, you've already, this morning, you're working on cases all the time. You say that yeah. you've, you've already... It doesn't stop. So, so what have you had today? Um, um, my messages have been going since about 20 to 6 this morning. I received the first message of the morning, but even travelling down last night, I was still being messaged at 10 to 1 this morning.